Hi, in this lecture I will go over some examples of analysis of um, trusses. Let's look at another example. Again, this one kind of looks scary and too much. Proposed footbridge is shown. If Q is this much, so basically this is 100, 100, 100, 50, 50. Find zero force members, which let's do this one last. Use method of joints, find forces in member OP and NP. OP and NP, it tells us to use method of joints. Use method of sections, find forces in member FH and GH. FH, GH, these two. All right, so let's just start with method of joints, the simpler one. So if you look at the truss and you want NP and OP, what joints, what joint would you pick? That's right, and I will also pick uh, joint P. So let's see. So FBD of joint P. That is joint P. Active forces, I don't have any. Reactive forces, I have three. I have one NP. I don't write it like FNP. So basically, what I mean, this is what I mean. NP, it's the force, it's not the member. Okay. Uh, I have another one, OP which is four, three, five. And P is a roller. So I have a PY over here. How many unknowns do I have? Three. How many equations do I have? Two. For joint, remember, it's like a particle. I only have FX and FY. So I have to go one step back, draw the entire truss, and find P Y. Okay. I have active forces, which is fifty, hundred, hundred, another hundred, another fifty, and then I have P Y. And I have AX and AY. This one is a pin. So it has AX and AY. Okay. First thing I see is summation of forces in X equals zero. The only thing I have in X is AX, so that should be zero. The second thing I do, again, gotta be a smart. All I care about, all needed, is PY. So let me take a moment about point A. So I don't need to worry about AY. And that means PY at a distance. What is the distance of P, point P and line of, or sorry, point A and line of action of P is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay. So it's 24 feet. And that is trying to rotate with my sign, so it's a plus. You know, let me write it. Well, that's okay. I'll start writing it there. Okay. Then I have a 50 that goes through it, so I don't need to worry about. I have a 100. I have a 100 at a distance of 3 feet. The first 100. This one. Um... And this one is trying to rotate against my sign. So all of those forces that are pushing down is trying to rotate it clockwise. So they're all negative. Another 100, that one is at a distance of 3. Another 100 at a distance of 9. And a 50 at a distance of 12. And that's it. This will result in PY 
of being 100 pounds. Okay. PY, 100 pounds. All right. So now I'm back at two unknowns only. So let's see. Summation of forces in FY in Y direction being zero. I have a plus 100 pointing up. I have NP is X. I have minus OP of 4 over 3 equals 0. This will give me OP of 125 pounds. It's a plus, so it is a tension. Okay. So that one is done. Summation of forces in X direction being 0. I have minus NP minus OP 3 over 5 this time equals 0. OP I found it to be 125. This will give me NP of 75 or yeah that give me minus 75 pounds and that means it is compression. Okay. So I did part B, method of joints, find OP and NP. Then it says use method of sections to find FG and GH. Method of sections. So I have to make an imaginary cut and see if I make a cut right here. Then I have two halves. Which one would you pick to draw a free body diagram? Of course, I'm going to pick this side because it has less forces on it. Plus, I already know PY. So why not? So let's see. Okay. This is point H. Point H. This is point P. This is point O. This is point I. Okay, so it was kind of like this. Point G. Point F. But those are, I've, I've cut them. So they don't exist. Next step is put active forces on there. I have a 50 pounds pointing down. Put reactive forces, which are PY of 100 pounds, which I already know. And the members, when I make made the cut, the forces are going to reveal. So I'm going to put FH. Again, FH means force of FH, force of member FH. I'm just writing it because it's simpler. Another GH and another GI. Okay. How many unknowns do I have? I have three. FH, GH, GI. The problem asks us to find FH and GH. Doesn't even care about GI. But, well, might as well find it. Let's see. I usually like to take moments about points that more forces go through it. So I can take moment about point H or point G. Let's take moment about point G. Remember, you can take moment about any point. It doesn't even have to be on your free body diagram. Any point is okay. So, moment about G being zero. GH and GI, they go through point G. I don't need to care about them because the distance between point G and line of action is zero. I have an FH. Distance between G and line of action of FH is four feet. It's trying to rotate my whole thing counterclockwise, so that's plus. The next force I have is 50. The distance between point G and line of action of 50 is basically the distance between G and I, which is 3 feet. 50 is trying to rotate it this way, and that is against my sign, so I'm going to put a negative there. The next force that I have, G, I, G, H, they go through point G, so don't worry about them. The last force that I have is 100. The distance between point G and the line of action of the 100 is this entire distance between G 
and P, which is going to be 15 feet. And it's trying to rotate it this way, which is with my sign, so it's a plus. There we go. The only unknown is F FH, force of member FH, which is minus 337.5 pounds. So it is compression. If you want to write it in three significant figure, 337 compressive force. Negative, doesn't really matter if you put it or not. Let's use summation of forces in Fy equals zero. So minus 50 plus 100, those two are the easiest. And then I have minus GH and that is going to be four, three, five. So it's four over five equals zero. This will give me GH of 62.5, and that is tension. Okay, that's all the problem was asking me. But we've come this far, so let's let's do GI also. I have two options. I can write sigma FX equals zero, or I can write another moment, the moment that I wanted to do the first time. Summation of moment about H is zero. I'll give you both of them. Sigma fx, I have a minus 62.5, 3 over 5. Why is this minus? Because this is going against my sign. And then I bring the value, which is 62.5, plus 33.7. You know what? Let me correct this. So 62, I'm looking at FH minus FH. This way it's less confusing. Uh, minus GI is zero. FH is minus 337.5 equals zero. So this will give me GI of 300 pounds tension. If I want to use MH, GH, FH, 50, they all go through it, so I don't need to worry about. So all I have to care about is GI at a distance of, what is this distance? It's four feet. Of four, I have a force of 100 pounds multiplied by 12 feet. GH is going this way, so that is negative. 100 is going this way, so that is positive equals zero. This one also will give me GI of 300 pound, and that is tension. So I had two options for that. Okay, last is to find zero force members. I'll give you a hint before. I said any time that you have two members in one line, and you have a third member lo located at a different angle, like that. This one is going to be a zero force member. Okay. When I look at this, I see one happening here. 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 I see one happening there. And those, so that means DE is my zero force member. HI is my zero force member, ML is my zero force member, JK is my zero force member, NO is my zero force member. Okay, so I have one, two, three, four, five zero force members. Remember, zero force members means I can, doesn't mean you have to, I can remove it and my structure is still going to be fine. The biggest question I get from this problem is, look at pin D, something like this. Right? With a force of 100 pounds on it, pin D. A lot of people say and ask, how come this is zero? Isn't a force on, a, on right on it? The answer is, 
sure if you draw free body diagram of point D you cannot figure out whether that's a zero force member or not because there are simply too many unknowns let's draw it 100 pounds and then you have DF you have DG which we found it by the way you have DE you have DC you have DB how many unknowns do you have I, I understand we found DG um, already but or did we no we didn't yeah sorry we found like HG and stuff but so one two three four five unknowns Sigma FX equals zero I it doesn't go anywhere Sigma FY equals zero doesn't go anywhere but now let's draw free body diagram of E okay I can do that this is my pin E unknown forces I have EG I have uh, EC or CE I have these are all forces by the way don't forget that force of DE okay summation of forces in X direction is 0 F E G equal F E C summation of forces in Y equals 0 huh now look the only force I have is F D E so therefore that should be 0 so you see that so this is zero so from free body diagram of E I can figure it out that that's a zero force member so that means if I remove DE if I remove HI if I remove this one if I remove this one if I remove this one my equilibrium is not disrupted because those are all zero force members so to be clear DE HI M L or L M doesn't matter N O uh, what else J K are all zero force member force members okay the next example that I have is Find forces in members E, F, F, C, B, C, E, F, F, C, B, C, and B, F, and B, F, okay. And instead if these members are intentional compression, P1, we know P1 is 9, P2 is 12, P3 is 6, okay. This one doesn't tell what method to use and look the arrangement is kind of strange so I think I'm gonna use both methods for these three members EF CF and CB I'm going to make a cut and use method of sections and then I'm going to draw method of joints either for joint F or joint B and find the other force so let's start I am going to make a cut and draw the free body diagram of my section. I'm picking this section. You know why? Two reasons. First, has one force on it, plus it's a roller, just FY. This side has one, two, plus a pin. So I think the right hand side is going to be the easier and faster. So I'm just going to draw that one. Okay. Outline done. This is C, this is E. Active force, 12 kilonewtons. Reactive force, I have a dy, I have EF, again that means force EF, force FC, force BC. Okay. When I made the cut, those three forces revealed themselves. I put them all in tension, meaning going away from the joint. I have four unknowns again. So I have to go back and draw the entire truss.
entire truss roller has a dy i have a 12 kilonewton uh, pointing down i have a 9 kilonewton pointing this way i have a 6 kilonewton pointing there and i have an ay and ax take the moment about point a i'm not going to do it you get dy of 13 kilonewton there we go all right so now better i have only three unknowns let's see let's take moment about point uh, point f i take it on purpose to show you that hey the moment the point that you take doesn't even have to be on the free body diagram okay so i mentioned the moment about point f is zero i have i'm going to go a little bit faster now um, f b c the distance between point um, f and line of action of b c is going to be three meters it's trying to rotate clockwise so it's negative another 12 i have 12 multiplied by 3 meters 12 kilonewton 3 meters this one is also trying to rotate this way that's a negative and then i have a 13 kilonewton at a distance of 6 meters equals 0 this one is rotating this way it's plus so fbc going to write it up there is going to be 14 kilonewton i got a plus so that means it's tension. Summation of forces, summation of moments about point C equals zero. I'd like to take two moments. Um, so I'm going to have force EF, three meters. That's a plus. Force 13, three meters equals zero look everything else goes through point c fc bc 12 kilonewton they all go through point c so i only have two forces the distance between one of them is three meters the distance between the other one is also three meters to that point so force ef is going to be minus 13 kilonewton so that is a compression okay Summation of forces in Y equals zero. I have, um, let's see, F, C, and we are looking at one over square root of two because this force is three, three, or in other words, one, one. Over square root of two, uh, minus 12, plus 13 equals zero so fc that's okay i write this one down here minus 1.14 kilonewton so this one is a compression all right so this one done this one done this one done i have b f now i have two options i can draw a free body diagram of uh, point b or point f I'm going to pick point B. Can you guess why? Because all the forces for point D is either in Y or X. I don't want to deal with components. So let's draw a free body diagram of joint B. Okay. Joint B. Active force of 9 kilonewton. Then I have BC. And I found BC to be tension. Okay, let's make sure. Yes, BC is 14 and is tension. Then I have AB, which I haven't found yet, so I'm just going to draw it in tension. And I have BF, which is the whole point of doing this. So all I need to do is write summation of forces in Y direction being 0. So minus 9 plus FBE, BF, sorry, is E0. Force BF is 9 kilonewton, and that is in 
tension. If you want to write sigma fx, what you get is this one is 14 kilonewton, and that means that is in tension as well. Another example that I have here says, for the structure shown, find zero force members. Okay. Use method of joints and find forces in Fe and Fh. Fe and Fh. Use method of sections and find forces in BD, BF, CE. BD, BE, and CE. These three. Okay. So I think I kind of see where to cut. But let's see. Zero force members. When you do, when you want to find zero force members, are the forces that you have two members kind of same direction you have another member in this direction with nothing else on them and usually we take that as zero force member so let's see point C doesn't apply because why because it has a force on one side of it point G is the same way F I don't think so the only thing I see is point D so zero force member, we do free body diagram of joint D, it's D, DB, DF, DE, summation of forces in Y is zero, DE is zero, DE is a zero. So force member, remember these are all forces. Don't mistake, don't uh, get confused by the member actual force of member DF. Sometimes I write it um, quick so that's part one or part a use method of joints to do find forces in fe and fh well how about do method of sections first let's make a cut make a cut pick a half i like to pick this half so it's going to be, well, too much. I don't like to draw the members, so only draw it up to the point. Oh, I select the black color, that's fine. A, B, C, it has 10 kip which is 10,000 pounds. Point A, it's a smooth surface. It's just sitting there. It can move in X and Y. It cannot move, uh, sorry, it can move in X. It cannot move in Y. So it has an AY. And then three forces that we have because we made a cut. BD, BE, and C. I have four unknown. What do I do? I draw a free body diagram of entire truss. Put active forces there. 10, 30, and 20. Kip. I have an HY, AY. Let's look, write summation of moment about point H being zero. It will give us a Y of 27.5 kip. All right, a Y 27.5. All right, now I have three unknowns. I'm gonna go through this a little bit faster. Summation of moments about point B. Let's take this because the 10 FBD, FBE, they all go through it. Summation of moment about point B is zero. The only forces that I need to find moments of is the 27.5 multiplied by the distance, which is 17 feet. It's called kind of a large span. 17 feet, trying to rotate it this way, so that's negative. The other force that I have is 
FCE at a distance of 8 feet and this one is trying to rotate with my sign so that's a positive equals 0 FCE is going to be 58.4 kip I got a positive value so it is tension uh, let's do another moment no one said we can't take two moments equation moment about point E which is this point right there so two of the forces again they go through it BE and CE I don't need to worry about them I have force of BD the distance is 8 feet um, and that is negative trying to rotate this way I have 10 10 kip at distance of 17 and that one is plus and I have the AY I have 27.5 kip at a distance of 34 equals 0 this one is trying to rotate clockwise so that's negative this will result in FBD being 95.6 negative which means it is compression okay last equation that I can use or I want to use is summation of forces and y I have a 27.5 minus 10 minus BE and I'm looking at what is that going to be that is going to be 817 so it's going to be 8 over 18.78 is 0 this will result in FBE of 41.1 kip okay so that was those three I have to find method of joints forces in FE and FH these two okay so let's see we said let's start from a point that has two unknowns I see eight FH and GH so when I did this free body diagram AY I got 27 I have to find HY as well if you write summation of forces in Y equals 0 you're gonna get H HY of 32 point five kip okay so I needed this one too okay now let's draw free body diagram of joint H FBD of H H I have an HY of 32.5 I have GH or FGH and I have force of FH 817 817 18.78 that's the slope triangle okay summation of forces in Y equals 0 32.5 plus F H 8 equals 0 get F H equal minus 76.29 kip and that is compression uh, that's that's all I care about F H I don't need GH even so I'm not gonna bother find it let's see next one I am going to draw a free body diagram of G so FBD of G okay I have GH oh I need a GH turns out right 
Yeah, so let's write summation of forces in X equals zero. So minus 76.2917 over 18.78 this time. I was happy, I thought I don't need forces in GH, but it turns out I was wrong. GH 69.06 kip, okay, and that is tension. All right, so I can put this in tension with a value of 69.06. Um, I have a 20 pointing down. I have GF, a force GF, that I don't know it, and GE, that I don't know it either. So if I write summation of forces in Y, force GF is going to be 20 kip, okay? Now I can write my final joint, which is joint F. Joint F has a 76.29, and that's compression, 76.29. Let's look back. That is force of um, FH right here. Force FH is compressive, 76.29. So I draw it this way. I just found GF to be 20 tension. 20 tension. I have FE, sorry, FD. And last thing I do have force of FE. All right. Remember, don't lose focus. All I care about is this one. So I'm not gonna bother with even FD. Summation of forces in Y equals zero. So I have 76.298 over 18.78 minus 20 minus FE. 8 over 18.78 equals 0. And my force Fe is going to be minus 29.3 kip, and that is compression. So I found too many forces. So let's see. This one is one of them that I needed. Fh is the other one that I needed. And I use method of joints for this one. And these that I put a star next to are the other ones that I wanted in met using method of sections. And part one was also zero force member that I found DE for. Thank you.